name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 8, verses 19 to 21. Then his mother and brothers came to him and could not approach him because of the crowd. And it was told him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. In this passage, we see uh, St. Mary and the Lord's brothers approaching and not being able to come to him. And then someone kind of lets the Lord know and says, by the way, you know, your mom wants to see you. And he responds and says, my brother, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Now, there's something really beautiful about this because a lot of people think that he's here kind of like, you know, making light or or making his mom not as important as she really is. But on the contrary, this is one of those passages where he's actually elevating St. Mary and revealing to the world what is so amazing about her. Well, St. Mary is is obviously his, you know, biological mother. She's the one that carried him. But what makes her even more special and even more important is that she is you know the one par excellence who both heard the word of god and did it this is what makes her the theotokos the bearer of god the mother of god is that she heard the word of god and she did it she is uh, an incredible example of humility and of of self-emptying self-denying self-forgetting love uh, uh, and she lived her life in that obedience and so you know some people think that this is him kind of making light of her but but on the contrary I see it as as you know really elevating Saint Mary and saying what is special about her is her love and obedience and willingness to live out the word of God, the way of God. But he's also opening up his family to the whole universe. He says, you know, he he opens the door wide and says, you know, if you want to be my mother and my brother, all you have to do is hear the word of God and do it. So he opens his family up and we see that in his heart he has this desire for us to be family to him and for him to be family to us. Um, today I don't, I don't want to go very long. I just want to share with you a passage from St. John Chrysostom. This passage has really been uh, uh, so beautiful to see and reveal how much God loves us in his heart and his desire to be one with us. He says, I am father, I am brother, I am bridegroom, I am dwelling place, I am food, I am raiment, I am foundation. All whatsoever you desire, I am. Be in need of nothing. I will even be a servant For I came to minister, not to be ministered to. I am friend and member and head and brother and sister and mother. I am all. Only cling closely to me. I was poor for thee and a wanderer for thee. On the cross for thee, in the tomb for thee. Above I intercede for thee. On earth I am come for thy sake, an ambassador from my Father. Thou art all things to me, brother and joint heir and friend and member. What more do you want? This is a passage from St. John Chrysostom that, that really reveals like how beautiful our God is and how much He is longing to be all things for us. He says that he is father, brother, mother, and sister to us. He is all things, willing even to be servant for us, on the cross for us, in the grave for us. He says, only just cling to me. 
And so this passage where he says, you know, my mother and my brother are those who hear the word of God and do it, and do it he's opening up this invitation for all of us to see him as our brother, as, as our friend, as intimately close to us. What blows me away also about this passage from St. John Chrysostom is that he then says that you, speaking to us, are all things to me. He says, brother and joint heir and friend and member. So he sees us as mother and brother, friend, joint heir and member of his body. Really, what a beautiful God we worship. It, it, it's it's sometimes it is often overwhelming to really believe that to really believe in the Lord God and his statements that he says that he wants us to be one with him sometimes it even feels easier to have a distance between us because his love is light his love is is transformative and it calls us outside of ourselves to become members of his family and so may today we approach his invitation by faith may we allow his incredible radical you know love for us and longing to be <laughs> members of his family may we allow that to transform us to shape us, to humble us, that we may approach it with faith and believe that there is a God who so loves us. May today you walk around as God's mother and God's brother and sister. May we walk around as God's members, joint heirs and friends. Have a beautiful day.